If you are ready for a good old fashioned grocery haul where I touch all of the items, hook me up with a thumbs up and let me show you all of the food. But before I show you this, I wanna tell you about some goals that my family has. My husband and I had a discussion and we had some fitness and health goals, health and fitness goals, having to do with our training and race schedule for this coming year. If you wanna follow along with any of that stuff, I would recommend following me over on Instagram. I'll show a little bit more of it there. We are heading into racing season, so I wanted to counteract the coping mechanisms I used while healing from my finger injury, which basically was like a whole lot of candy shoved in my mouth in lieu of meals. Candy, candy canes, candy corns. I wouldn't recommend that as a game plan. So what you're gonna see here is our health and fitness based grocery haul from Costco. I'm super curious to know how much all of this costs and how much it's going to last. You'll notice in this haul that there is no meat. That's because my friends over at Good Shop sent me a box of super high quality proteins. They're sponsoring today's video. Let me tell you about them real quick and then we'll touch all the things. Here is why Good Shop is freaking amazing. Good Shop offers fully customizable boxes of high quality meats delivered to your door on your schedule. They come flash frozen at the peak of freshness so you are always going to get the freshest quality protein for your family and your plate. They have something for literally everybody. You can choose from over 70 high quality cuts. They have 100% grass fed ribeye, USDA prime filet mignon, that's my favorite cut, free range and organic chicken breast, tenderloin, pork tenderloin, thick cut bacon, just to name a few. Mmm, bacon. Bacon is good for me. All products are sourced from the United States of America and no added antibiotics or added hormones, which is why they feel very confident about giving you guys a 100% money back guarantee. I decided to cook up the chicken breasts. I seasoned them very simply with some just leftover barbecue seasoning I had, cooked it up in a pan, and I made my favorite lunch right now while I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier and increase my protein levels every day. It's a barbecue chicken wrap on these like high fiber tortillas. Oh my gosh, it's so filling. I can have two of them. It has a ton of protein. It has like over 40 grams of protein and keeps me full all the way until dinner. And I don't even need a Snickers pick me up in the middle of the afternoon. So perhaps if you are on a health journey like myself and you want some really good quality proteins, try out Good Shop. They're gonna give you guys a great deal today. It's goodshop.com slash YouTube. Use the code frugalfitmom120. It's gonna give you guys $120 off across your first four boxes. It's the first link down in the blue below. It's goodshop.com slash YouTube. Code frugalfitmom120, $120 off that you can put right back into Mr. Pocket. I'm a big fan of money. I love it, you're gonna love it. First link below. I'll try and leave in the comments also. Let's get back to the rest of the food. The Baby Bells were on sale for $9.59 a bag. That is a huge savings, huge, almost $5. And my friends, when the black Baby Bells go on sale, you buy two. These are such a great snack. These are my kids' favorite. They're my favorite flavor. I believe the black wrapper is white cheddar as the flavor, but like I'll grab two of these on my way out the door. It's it's the best. These don't go on sale very often, so when they do, we get them. Uh, I also have the Oikos Triple Zero. This is a great breakfast or snack, 15 grams of protein. And getting these at like a Costco or a Sam's Club is so much cheaper than getting them at a grocery store, so I got the entire box. Vanilla and strawberry are my favorite. The mixed berry, that'll be like my kids and my husband. So these are also a great option. They were not on sale, but it was $13.39 for 18 cups. The sweetener in here is stevia. The last protein from this haul is a low-fat cottage cheese, $5.99 for three pounds. One serving is a half a cup, 13 grams of protein. And here's my new favorite thing is blending the cottage cheese. It's the texture that's always been like, what's the... Why are there like lumps in it, right? You blend it in a blender or a food processor, game changer. In lieu of candy, I decided to go with fruit because I love sugar from fruit. Fruit is delicious. Candelope right here, we have a two pack. And look at this. Are you seeing this? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I always said I would know if I made it in life when I bought pre-cut fruit. And here we are with the pre-cut mango spears, but here it is. This was on major clearance today for $5. This is two pounds of cut up mango for $5. That's like the cost of the strawberries that I bought. I meant to get apples today. Like I wanted to get the Honeycrisp apples. Am I right or am I right when I say 
Costco Honeycrisp apples are the best Honeycrisp apple. Why? 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 Why does Costco have the best quality apple? And I didn't see them today. In the meantime, I will eat strawberries. This two pound container, non-organic, $4.49. That's actually really great price for my area. And, oh, yeah, I did get two of these. Oh, I didn't mention the tomatoes. I have this entire box of tomatoes. By the way, who eats this many tomatoes? I'm gonna make it my personal goal to actually get through this box before they go bad. We have some bananas. Uh, those are for my husband and my kids. I don't do those. I do have a major intolerance to bananas. The bananas were $1.49 a bunch. I got one bunch there, one bunch over there. I don't know why they're not together. This is what happens when the kids bring the groceries in. One bag of avocados. These are getting more expensive. This is like $7 today. It used to be five. Some more veg back here. Brussels sprouts, my favorite way to do Brussels sprouts is shaved in the food processor and then sauteed with butter and some chicken stock. Oh my gosh. Some cauliflower, bunch of broccoli because it's so good for you. Two containers of the peppers. So one of these is for snacking, just to slice and have with dip. And the other one is for fajitas. Two containers of the romaine lettuce. This is hands down one of the best deals at Costco. Oh, hey, it's the best fruit on the planet. I love pears. They're this like grainy, sugar, juicy fruit when they're ripe. These are not quite ripe yet, but I'm excited. We got a whole big bag of oranges. This was just under $8 for eight pounds. $7.89 for these. A 10 pound bag of the golden potatoes, $4.89. Also, potatoes are like my favorite thing. And for like trail running, boiled potatoes dipped in salt is like, everything. I got a huge bag of onions. I haven't bought a bag this big in a really long time. It was $9.39. I use onions in everything. We love cooked onions around here. And then over here is one of my favorite things. I was very disappointed in the price of these cucumbers today. I almost was like, not up in here, but I fell victim to my own rule, which is shop at more than one store. And I didn't. I stayed at the one store and overpaid for the freaking cucumbers. I'm gonna cut these up today. We're eating these today because I'm not letting these go to waste. Did I talk about the squash? The squash for three and a half pounds was $6.99. Two pantry items that I was totally out of. $11.49, I got some weights to work out for, to like pump up the arms. Just kidding, it's vegetable oil. I don't use this in normal cooking, but I do use it in like a cake mix or in waffles or something like that. So I do like to have this on hand. It's pretty inexpensive, lasts a long time, comes in a giant, ridiculous two pack. Here we go. And can you believe that when I went to make cookies the other day, I was 100% out of sugar? Oh, dang it. 100% out of sugar, no sugar, completely out. I have like the worst long-term food storage person ever because I totally, I thought I had another bucket in the garage. I didn't. 25 pounds of sugar for $20 and some odd cents. And now I can make cookies. The total price for all of this food? Drum roll, please. $192. Wow. Feels like a lot. Do you feel that way when you look at your grocery bill? When you check out? You're like, whoa. Ah! Whoa. To be fair, I went to one store and I got everything at one store. So I'm breaking my own rules here. How long will all this stuff last? I'm hoping two weeks. I'm hoping so. $192, D dang. Hopefully we see some great things in our health and fitness, the way that we feel. Maybe my skin will look better. And maybe, just maybe, I'll be a little bit faster on the bike.
pretty big sweet tooth. And when I'm focusing on transitioning into more high quality foods or healthier eating, I still allow myself to have a dessert every single day. Here's how I do it differently. So it's not Reese's peanut butter cups and like 15 chocolate chip cookies because I can do that. What I do instead is I use fruit as my main sweetener. I'm gonna use this vanilla as my base today. So, I mean, does this taste like a cookie? No, it doesn't. Fulfills my desire to eat something sweet and delicious. I'm gonna top this with 150 grams of strawberries, which is about a cup of cut up strawberries. Whatever fruit you want is fine. I've done it with peaches, that's really delicious. I'm topping it with granola. I like the crunch, I like the texture change, and granola is really high in calories. Really easy to pound 500 calories of granola and not feel like you eat anything. I measure about a quarter cup out, a little bit of whipped cream. Just right on top. So I have this really delicious strawberry granola whipped cream yogurt parfait, which is, I mean, look at the size of this. This is quite a lot of food, almost 20 grams of protein. I can have my dessert and like a really filling, I don't know, fourth meal of the day. And it's so sweet. It hits that need for my sweet tooth really, really nicely. I don't wanna ever tell anybody that you can't have dessert or you can't have something sweet because for me, that would just make me go crazy. So this is a nice little compromise. Excuse us.